Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's um, interesting. And then it killed us. There's a tape bot. Oh my god, no. What's going on, guys? Welcome to my junkyard. <laughs> Uh, it's been a few days since I've recorded. Uh, that's not true. It's been a few days since we've uh, since we've had an episode out, and uh, the reason for it is I've had a lot of stuff done. And as you can see by the mess I've got going on here, I've put some things together, and they're all tore apart, and they didn't work, and things happened, and I got upset, and 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 now here we are. So <laughs> what I did basically is I recorded a, an episode, and I was building a new machine. I was trying to build a tree cutter, and my vision for it just it just didn't work. It just didn't do what I wanted it to do. And I built a bunch of things, ripped them apart, built a bunch, ripped them apart, and it got frustrating. And then I decided, you know what? Let's just build the one that I have now that I think is gonna work after all the testing, and we're gonna build it here. I didn't wanna put out an episode of just like, hey, I built a bunch of stuff, and then I'm gonna tear it apart, and then everyone's like, oh, that's a waste. So that's what happened. We uh, also did a couple other things. We did some, we did a, uh, found a warehouse, and we went and found the bottom floor of it. We didn't go inside, um, which I'll show you that footage in just a minute. But I wanted to show you some stuff first that I've found about here. So in the warehouse area, there's a bunch of these scrap blocks. They are, uh, what are they called? The rusted metal? Yeah. So I stole all those. We finished our floor, which is super nice. I got a little bit of lag at the moment because I'm going to show you guys something here. But what's happened... Well, we finished the floor. And what's happened now... You'll notice this thing is down. Uh, they've upgraded, or updated, I should say, pistons. So you can no longer control them by a controller up above what their level is. So these ones are level four, they can't go to 15 like they could at one time. So that kind of wrecks a few things. Nothing for us, thankfully, we kind of had that prepared. But one thing I've noticed, if I lift this thing up, that's up a block. That's at its max right there. Let me jump up here. Unless I put a block here, oops, it's uh, partially in that block. Like it's sunk in. Right there, it lifts it a little bit, which is perfectly fine. If I take this out, it actually falls just, just slightly. And if I put this back up top, which I've been doing, uh, let me just blow it back. I've been doing just to collect things when we're having raids. Ooh, the leg is hitting right now for some reason. So if I put this right in the center and then do that little test again, ooh. It will actually be down quite a ways. You can see, in the corner of that block, it's down quite a ways in the block. So what I want to do, well, this needs to get readjusted first. What I want to do is put like a little bearing thing here that flips up that kind of lifts this so that our pistons aren't hanging. Because right now, this is a free hanging thing and our pistons have stress and it's causing causing a bit of uh, issue there, which I don't, I don't like. Frames is a big, important thing to worry about. So anyways, uh, I did, like I said, I did some exploring of the bottom of the warehouse, and let me show you guys that while I kind of clean this mess up here and get, uh, and get ready to start today. Alright, I think we're gonna park out here. I really don't know what's gonna be inside here, so I'm kind of nervous. Let's turn our fuel off, because I I feel like this has been using fuel when they just sit. Um, and let's, oh, yeah, we're definitely loading stuff in here. So I do know that, uh, oh, oh, I already see a guy. What are you? What are you? We're like, okay, okay. You're definitely loading the stuff in. It's it's a huge structure. This is kind of like the end game dungeon thing. So it's definitely uh, definitely interesting. What else we got around here? What is that? <laughs> All right. So I believe those are the tape bots. I believe those are like the, the main enemy that's around here. And I know they are incredibly dangerous from what I have been told. Um, thankfully they are only a one shot kill it looks like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, at least a, at least headshots. I don't know what the body shots. They do seem to do different damages. <gasps> is that a... Uh oh. Um, so this is our... Uh, this is the boss, boss bots. We have not seen him yet. I don't know that I'm ready for this. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. Let's go. Oh, he's taking some shots. Oh, no. Oh, how many shots did he take? Oh, he's 
stuck. Okay, he just destroyed that structure. Okay. Think. Do we kill him? <laughs> All right then. That guy took how many shots? Did he? Oh my god, I had I had over a hundred ammo here. All right, we got a warehouse key and uh, component kits. Wow. I do, oh, 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 oh. do not want to see more of those guys right away. Wow. So obviously this stuff here is... Uh, can we, we can take all this? No way. What is that? Stand support base. Let's put it back for now. Piping. Ooh. Rusted, uh, rusted metal. What about these things? Was there anything? Is there anything? Just gotta be careful because I know all these tape bots are very, very, very dangerous. They're uh, long range. They haven't shot. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. See him? Yep. Okay. Okay. Where is he? We're gonna work. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Go in. Oh, okay. Dude, shooting rolls of tape at us. <laughs> oh, we have to pick up that head in a second. That's good enough for the moment. Let's uh, let's keep looking around. There's definitely some things over here happening. Uh, I need to keep an eye out for these stupid bots. What just happened? <gasps> oh, he's over there. All right, bud. He's camping our stuff. Do we go for it? Let's just go for it. Serpentine, serpentine, come on. We got him. Grab our stuff, grab our stuff. Spuds especially. There we go. Yeah. What a jerk. So here's the here's the entrance looks like. So we need the key, which I put away. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna use this yet. Uh, I don't feel like we're ready for that. Obviously, we don't have nearly enough spuds. We've only got a little bit left, a couple hundred left, or 150 left or so. So I don't want to do that quite yet. But we did find this. It's not too far away from our base. We do have a lot of things here. I'm gonna take a bunch of this stuff back with us. I have a bunch of extra space. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna start ripping this stuff down. Let me just empty my inventory first. Is this just another warehouse door? What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's. Um, interesting. And then it killed us. There's a tape bot. Oh my god, no. Well guys, as you saw, we defeated uh, one of the boss bots. We got our uh, warehouse key, which is right right in here somewhere. It's right there. And we're going to do that pretty soon, I think. But today, I wanted to work on a, a tree collecting, tree grinding machine. And... What I tried to do before was a vertical machine where we drove up, wrapped the arms around it, cut it, the tree fell, and it just kind of processed it there. And I've seen so many good ones, and they just don't seem to work for me. I don't know what it is. I don't know. So I decided to do this system. What we're going to do is make a vehicle that has a claw on it, and we're going to we're gonna pick up the wood off the ground, which this took me forever to figure out, by the way. It's part of the part of what I was figuring out. Um, it... It didn't work at first, and then I got it to work, and it's a pain. As you can see, though, uh, I've got cactuses, which is kind of ridiculous. But they are... Let me just rip one down here. They are super light and crazy friction. And they seem to work. So let me just show you a little test here. Now, this doesn't seem to work anymore. It's working now because I think because these trees were already ripped down. But they've actually fixed the ability to weld trees and rocks, which means we have to do something different. Well, that wasn't where I wanted to place it. Like at all. 
So this obviously is a little bit of overkill for the size of this tree, which is perfectly fine. So let's break this, tree will fall. What we'll do is we lower this and we, oops, yeah. Lower it, claw it, it picks up and we can lift it. And what I wanna do with this is I wanna be able to put this in the back of a trailer and, or whatever, a vehicle, dump this into a trailer or some kind of hauling unit or wherever we're gonna take this thing and then put it into an actual sawmill. For now, we're just gonna do a basic a basic vehicle so we can get the sawmill running. And then eventually then we're gonna do like a semi truck with like an actual trailer with a saw, mobile sawmill. And I wanna set up like a sawmill camp somewhere. Uh, so that's kind of the idea. Now I've tested this with obviously these trees, so that's a little bit bigger. This one works fine. This one's a small one, it works fine. And this claw might be a little bit, little bit big, but it fits, like this is two lengths of a tree. And I think this is three-ish, three and a half-ish long. So we should be able to pick up the biggest trees, but we might cut this down a little bit and then just pick up like lengths of three and cut them in where we need to and all that. So anyways, what I'm gonna do while it's nighttime is I'm gonna build a little bit of a base for this and we're gonna kind of get some of the function going. Okay, yeah, so this is, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, I've got a little base here of diamond plating. That's just some blocks we stole from the from one of the warehouse things there. So I put an electric engine here. I wanted to show you something I've kind of discovered. So I put a bearing and some stuff like this. Uh, let me just put this. This is just well over the ground, so it's just easier to work on for now because we can see the functionality. If you put it uh, on a on a lift, you can't you can't see it work until after it's off the lift, which is kind of annoying. If I go like this with the bearing, oops to an engine and then to a seat, it functions just like steering. So I can uh, I can put power in this first. Uh, it'll function just like a steering bearing. And I can use W and S to rotate. Now it's slow because obviously it's turned down. But what it'll do is it, it holds its position, right? So we can use this to go where I need to go and then lower it, lift it, etc. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna do that just so we've got and then, because this seat here is upgraded to level five, we have the bearing settings, which what that does is if I go like th this, hook this to a bearing, if I go in here, I can actually set turn speed and I can do a bearing lock. So then if I use left and right, I can do the same thing. So what we might be able to do is, I don't quite know how it works if we have both going. If I go up and down and turn this thing left and right, and then go, or I could probably go, hmm. I can use one of these to go left and right and then go one of them to go for up and down. So I can do a rotation of like, maybe this, like I have this right here. So I can actually rotate this a little bit so we can get more precision. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need that though. Okay, so this is our basic, basic, basic setup. <laughs> uh, so this design kind of comes from uh, Con Gaming. I've had to look at his thing of how to do the logistics and he just recently built a crane that's very similar to this. So we're gonna kind of take the similar idea and go from there. So Con uh, Gaming on YouTube, I'll put a link in the description to like the video I use where it has the logic gates because he does some awesome stuff. So we're gonna put a piston there. Oops, we're gonna take a piece of this, two upgraded pistons. So we're gonna put a piece of wood, upgraded piston, piece of wood, upgraded piston, piece of wood. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a pulse. And this pulse is going to make it so that way the pistons are gonna go back and forth pulsing, but they're gonna hold their position. So we're gonna be able to stretch this thing out and hold it, which will be super nice. So now the way to do this, I kind of have my little cheat sheet in front of me. I have to kind of be a certain way to see this. So let's just kind of do this right. Uh, where's the little, I want the lights to be on top. Like that, like that, like that. Okay, so now we're gonna have an AND gate, and then a NOR gate, and then an OR gate. Now, please don't ask me what this does, because I have no idea. I, I know what they, I know the function of the idea, but I don't really know much about logistics. So all three of these linked in, into each other, and they're gonna start, start pulsing, which is what we want. Then we're gonna do two more gates, which are gonna be he, here and here, and this is gonna, ooh, you, I want you to be facing upwards. Not gonna face upwards, huh? Okay, so this one is gonna be a, or, or these two are gonna be AND gates, I believe. No, this is gonna be an OR. 
sorry, and a X North. Very confusing, very, very, very confusing. <laughs> so from our Nor gate, which is the center one, yes. We're gonna go into both of these. So I have my cheat sheet in front of me so I can kind of see what's happening. Uh, that's not gonna be right, is it? Okay, I might have a bit of a seizure, but I think I got it right. So this is gonna be an or, this is gonna be a nor, and they cross, one goes into here, one goes into here. And basically what's happening is these two are flashing opposite because of this system, which is just a rotating system. So they flash opposite, and then these go into, into these two AND gates, which are then controlling this piston. So you can see the piston is constantly pulsating, which is super annoying, but then this one stays where it needs to. So now, I think if I put switch on, let's go, hmm, put it there. I can put it there. So which one's the AND gate? It needs to go, that one's an AND gate. So I put a switch to here, here, and there. I can turn it on and off. Perfect, so that's on, that's off. So now, if I stretch these out, let's just go like so. I have to make sure these work too, by the way, because lately they've been, like, so you can see that one I put to 13, didn't go up. If I do it again, it's not up for some reason. Same with them. For whatever reason, these things are broken. I can't figure out why. Okay, that one's the extension. I, figure, I find if you go to all the way to 12 and then stop and then go up one, it seems to work. Okay. Now, if I put a uh, button here and a button here, I think, I think one of them goes to, one of them goes to here. The one goes to there, I think. I'm not mistaken. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I just broke something. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. Logic is stupidly confusing. <laughs> okay, what it is, uh, this turns it off, which will retract it all. So let's just let's just do that. Uh, if we turn it back on, it's gonna pulsate. It's gonna hang out here. So this switch here is hooked into both of our NOR gates. Uh, can you see it here? It's hard to tell. There's two NOR gates, uh, that one and this one. So that's gonna stop it and retract it all the way, as you can see, kinda. Actually, let me I'll hook these to the seats and we can actually see it a little bit better. So that one, this one, and three. Okay, so one's gonna shut it off. Whoa. One will shut it off. Two will retract it, and three is gonna extend it. Now I have it turned off, turned low, so it's not pulsating like crazy. But so we can get our extension and it's gonna hold. So I can come back a little bit, hold there, come back a little bit, hold there, etc. Perfect. Perfect. So then if we hook this one. Uh, we can't hook that right to there, huh? So I need a controller to hook this up, or what? Really, I can't go right to that. I thought you could go right to a piston right to a... Oh, I guess I'm going to go to a switch. I can go to a switch. Do I not have a switch? Are you serious? Alright, I got stupid switches. So I go here, I should be able to just go uh, to this piston to the seat so four we'll lift it and it should go up that high or so so then from here we should be able to turn this on go uh, out to where i want it say here and then i'll have to put i guess going down i don't know if i need to go up or not yet it's kind of dependent on what we like what kind of thing we build this into so for now i'm going to do it but i don't know what we're going to if we're going to need that functionality or not so i'm going to leave it but i can always fix it later uh Okay, so then let's just turn all this off. We're gonna cover that because that's super annoying. Also, I wish this thing would go back to normal, like to, to zero. I could probably make it do that, but like I don't, it's kind of frustrating. Um, let's put, we're gonna be out far enough. On default, I actually want it to sit sideways in the vehicle, so this might be okay. If I go like this, how tall is this thing? Uh, we can always make this, let's, let's, let's remake this. It doesn't need to be this big. Um, we're also going to do it. How long is this thing? So it is, let's see, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 blocks. 
let's make it this is I believe those are nine so that's eight so let's make it 18 blocks that's that's the size it's the size of this with cactus so it's gonna be what one one two maybe three between it uh because I dropped this thing so obviously it's it's completely broken we need to rebuild it uh, yeah, so let me just put this, I'm actually also going to put, uh, if I put a block here, let me lift this, because now it's in the, in the way. If I put a bearing here, what I'm thinking of is if I put this like so, oops, not you. If I put this like here, like this, and this will be like our attachment, I'm just going to put this for a visual for the moment. If I go to here directly, and we go into... The bearing settings using E? Yeah. If I go lock, we'll make this left turn so it goes 90, 90 one way, 90 the other. And it'll lock. We'll just turn the speed just because why not for now. And I should be able to go left and right. And it's super quick. So obviously the speed is too much. But if I have the claw on there, I should be able to like. Position this where I need it. Oh, I went too far. Position this maybe and get some weird angles. I don't know if we're gonna need that, but I mean, why not? Let's just build it. So this will be the center. So if I go, I actually made it. It's 19 uh, wide instead of 18. That way, there's a, a center. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So right here should be the center of both of those. And let's see, one, two, four. So that'll be the center there, I think. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go, uh, actually let's be, hmm, let's go like this. I really hope this works. I really hope this is going to work. Uh, we'll put 90s on here. Uh, yeah, is that going to work? Hmm. So I need to open this. So if I go one in, there must be a center there. Do I actually have to go like this, maybe? I'm confused on how, I, okay, so if I go like that and then rotate it like, yeah, that's probably how I have to do it. And then they can come across like so, and hopefully that's the center. Uh, it's, it is going to be the center, it looks like. Oh, it fits just perfectly if it's straight. Which I, I'm, I'm kind of not sure if I want to keep it like this. Because, like, this is good. Ooh. I guess it's hitting something. Uh, let's just turn one on, push this forward, and then I can rotate. Okay, yeah, so if I rotate it, see how it's, it's gonna stay kind of level, but if I go like a show, uh, let's turn turn one off here. Let's come on, turn you off. Ah. I might have to push this out just a couple more, just because. Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, we got a little bit of control left and right now. So between that and this, we should be able to go like, oh, you want to go here? Oh, it's not quite straight. Turn it a little bit more, pick it up. Like we should be able to get pretty fine tuned with this thing. And then we go one, stretch it out. Like let's go, oh, it needs to go here. And then we can, oh, you know. Like, there's so much stuff we can do to pick things up here, which gives me another idea about something else later. Anyways, let's turn this back off. Uh, put that back down. It's actually, is that actually where it needs to be? Okay, so this thing's connected now, and I can, ugh, fall off there. I can go, and I can uh, rotate these left and right, no problem, as well as rotating ourselves left and right. Now, this is a little bit slower, but this is pretty, I mean, it's pretty quick, even. We can get pretty precise movements. Uh, yeah, it should be pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, it might be too much, but at least we can rotate everything. So now, 
What I need is a controller, and I have this stuff up just because it's uh, easier to do this opening and closing stuff like this. So let's put you here, put you like that. We'll hook you to this controller, and hook you to the seat. Uh, one will be here, two will be there, and we'll do three here, and I think four like a soul. Now one and two should be the same. I think I'm gonna go with this. I think that's what I want. I always get these backwards. Let's go 45s. Both on 45s. Hit the switch. Nothing's gonna happen. I think they're backwards. You gonna do your thing? Open, open. One of them is right, one of them is wrong. And I always get them backwards. You know, when I was building this, I realized I'm an idiot and I have these attached. <laughs> All right, it makes way more sense why I couldn't get it to work. Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, so 45, 45. Uh, and this one should be, uh, like that. Okay. Yes. Okay, there's our claw, all the way open. <laughs> what a pain. We're actually gonna go 30s, I think. Yeah, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get that to work. Such, such a pain. Uh, we'll also turn this down just a little bit. Okay, so now I should be able to turn this off. And you off, and you off. Oh my god. And it should all just come flying down. Ah, okay. Uh, maybe I'll do a test first, and then we're going to build a little bit of a vehicle for this thing. Because the vehicle's going to be nothing. It's going to be just a basic thing that we can haul around, or uh, move around with. I don't want anything crazy, because it's going to change. So for now, all I want to do is make sure this works, and then we'll uh, work on the next piece. So let's just do a little test. Now this could be a bit of a pain to uh, to figure out. Okay, so four is gonna go up. Uh, let's get you kind of, that might be a little bit much. Turn you on, go out, five will open it. Uh, are we kind of out where we need to be? It's kind of hard to tell if we're out far enough or anything, but okay, there, four should go down. Oh, 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 retract a little bit. Ooh, maybe we're not down far enough. Yeah, we're probably gonna need the down thing. So if I go up, hmm, that's good to know. Good to know. Yeah, that we're just not open far enough. Maybe we're not open far enough. Maybe we need to go 45. I hope we're not larger than 45, but maybe we do. Okay, so we're all the way around the tree, it looks like. Let's go out a little bit farther. Yeah. And we should be able to close this. Move this around a little bit, hopefully. Oh, come on. Up. Come on. Why are you going to be a pain? Ooh, we have a little bit of an issue there. Why do we not want to work all of a sudden? So we should be able to also though now, let's just see. The controls are gonna be a little bit weird to figure out. Four, five. Hmm. When I had it before, I was able to just kind of open and close this thing and it was fine. Hmm. Can we rotate a little bit? Like, we've got the thing, it just doesn't want to hold. I don't know if it's because that piece of wood's in the way there or not. Yeah, it's going to fall. Hmm. Anyways, uh, I should go forward and back. No, turn this. And then, come on, five, come on, work, work. Yeah, see, there it works. For whatever reason, it just gets into a mood. I don't know. And then we have this up. And then we'd be able to take this, whoa, and we'd be able to put it on like our vehicle or whatever, which ah, 
kind of think I have to go higher now. Uh, I'm going to have to upgrade all these pistons, I think. So I can go 15. So we might have to do a little bit more work here. And this could be a bit too heavy. But anyways, at this point, we see it's working. So we need to put it onto a vehicle. Well, things and stuff have happened. <laughs> I took this thing for a little test drive. Uh, so basically, I put together our, our crane on just a very, very, very basic unit. And uh, it, it's interesting. <laughs> so then I put just a basic sawmill together. Now, this sawmill, it's got seven blades, which is crazy overkill, obviously. And it's run here by... Uh, can we see it? Yeah, so it's run here by a couple bearings. But it doesn't seem to be enough. Also, these things glitch. When these things make, are on the ground, they keep just making the noise that they're falling, and it's super annoying. So anyways, let's close this up, and we'll kind of uh, get this thing in action. So that turns it on. But you can see they're not running as fast as I hoped they would be. And I think that's because we're running seven of them with not enough bearings. So this is going to push it forward. And I'm just hoping that it doesn't bind up. Sometimes it seems to push too much and it binds up. Alright, so we're breaking. I kept it nice and slow so that way like, hopefully it doesn't uh, like I said, push too hard. But we got three, three decent sized trees in here right now. Oh, that top one's holding it back, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, let me open this up. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Hmm, okay, let's just break it. So that's definitely what's happening. The top one's gonna hold it up. Let's just knock it off there. Uh, so you can see it's actually welded. Um, on here, and the reason for that is because our system here doesn't doesn't actually work. <laughs> I'll explain it in a minute. All right, let's close this back up while we're. Oops, wrong button. Quit swinging. Thank you. Was it all cleaned up? It looks like it. So yeah, so I had to weld the trees to the block to get them in here because unfortunately this thing it it didn't it's it's not working. It's this needs to be a little bit longer, and this actually needs to be a little bit longer too for some of the bigger trees. And I was explaining before that, like, we could cut them down so they'd fit in this. The problem with that is then we have scrap pieces laying on the ground. And that's not, not what I want. It's the whole point of this. Let's clean these up. It's the whole point of not doing that. So when I cut these down, it, it grabs them, but it's super, it super doesn't, it doesn't work very well. I, uh, that, that was a tr one, one tree there. And uh, it took me, like, ten minutes to get that tree. <laughs> so it's, it's not any faster, unfortunately. So this thing, it does need a redesign, uh, but I guess we can go through the functions of it really quick. And so there's a blade in the front. The blade is going to, all right, let's see, uh, it goes down and then forward. It, it's slow because because I, you know, obviously didn't design it well like that. It goes through the blade, <clears throat> goes through the tires like that, and it turns on and it cuts the stump, which was the whole point of that, which is good. Uh, three is going to actually lift this thing up. And it's going to tilt it down and open the sides. So any logs that are in here are going to like spill out. And that was the point of this. So I could drive up, put like open this thing up, and then dump this on there. And then we could like close them both and have it go in. That way if we like weren't accurate, it, was, it would still work. And it works fine. Uh, it's just, you know, our trees just aren't... Uh, it's not made for the trees we've got, unfortunately, which is the biggest problem. Uh, and then this thing works exactly the same way. Uh, I had to change this so this goes a little bit higher here. And then this one actually comes down a little bit. And that's kind of where the problem comes in. So this one's going to go up all the way. So that way it can actually get... Oops. Well, you know, when it's not stuck on, on our actual trailer. There we go. Um, it needs to be able to get, you know, into the back of this thing. And with the spinning of it, it's super, super crazy. But now I can go here and I can stretch it. Uh, what, was, what was it? Which one is it? Uh, this one and this one. And we can stretch it out, you know, and set it in here, and everything's fine. It's just a bit, it's just a little bit wonky for what we what we need. And obviously, like I said, it needs a little bit of a redesign, which is fine. Just it's just not going to happen today. So, anyways, guys, on that note, I'm going to leave this here because, uh, yeah, it's it's late, and I don't really want to uh, continue this at the moment. I have some plans for a better design, and we have some other things that are a little bit more important to our needs right now. Uh, like stone, for instance, and we're going to do that one next, I think, because I have a really good idea for how to do a stone collector, and we're desperate on some stone. 
Who knows, guys? I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, hit that like button. And uh, I'll see you next time.